you made your stunning Broadway debut as Asaka in Once on This Island. How magical was finally getting to Broadway? Because that was a dream of yours for a long, long time. It was so brilliant and breathtakingly beautiful. You sit there and you want this goal and you don't know when, you don't know how, you've been told no so many different times and you're so used to like doing the grind and the work of it all that when it finally gets there and it fits perfectly like a glove, even though getting there was a lot harder and then get, even the rehearsal process is a lot harder and you're finding things out and you're trying to hone in on what is the gimmick? What is the biggest thing? What sets you apart from the phenomenal people that have played this role before you? How, what is your stamp on it? It, it is a brilliant thing and I loved every last cast member that I worked with on that show. I loved every last crew member that I worked with on that show. It was a brilliant time of my life and I'm so happy that it came at that moment. Do you remember your, your opening night? I do remember my opening night. I remember looking at Jason Alexander directly in his face. What is that like when stars would come to your show and you're like doing your thing and you know. It was, it's out of this world. You're like, you're, you sit there and you're just like, oh, that person's here. I'm so happy that I sang in front of them. Like to sing in front of Cicely Tyson, may she rest. And it, 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 then to sit backstage, well, and, and we didn't have a backstage, right. so to sit in the theatre with Cicely Tyson and just listen to her wisdom and all that she's imparting on you and to see how she's talking to Haley, someone who is brand new and making her Broadway debut and her welcome to this world and this community is such a beautiful thing to get to see people love on Kanita Miller every night because she deserved everything and more to like see that is just otherworldly to see have Chadwick Boseman come may he rest and to have Whoopi Goldberg to come and to have all of these people come who you've respected for so long it's such a great thing it's a it's like a I can't say it enough it's just a beautiful thing to literally have Laura Benanti crying in your arms like it Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm so happy that it happened. And yeah, I can roam on and on and on and on and on and on about it. Did you know a lot of these people were coming or you would just sing your song and look at it like, oh my God, I'm singing to Cicely well, Tyson. Well, it's really hard because I didn't see Cicely Tyson, praise goodness. But um, we had a pre-show. So a majority of my time, my task was to do cooking. And so it's a hot plate. You throw the food in, you cover it, it cooks. Yeah. <laughs> So I would just walk around the island and just scope out who is there. I'd like to just scope out because I want to know what I'm getting myself into and do I call out? <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. That was not the Osaka who was cooking earlier. Wait a minute when the show and, do, and then do I call out because Whoopi Goldberg is there or Rosie O'Donnell is there or Cicely Tyson is there or Anna Wintour is there. <laughs> Like, do I call out because Anna Wintour is there or do I do it? It's it's a it's a touch and go for me. I did it. I did it. Oh, I know you did. You did it for everybody, which was really, really great.